welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to be doing some early summer decorating here in the kitchen i'm going with a lemon theme from now until fourth of july and then at the end of today's video i'm going to share with you a very easy and very delicious lemon dessert recipe that's going to be perfect all summer long so go ahead and grab a cup of something fun maybe some lemonade that would be perfect and join me as we clean and decorate and do a little dessert making Okay, you guys, we are starting out today's video by styling my diffuser area, which is one of my favorite things to do in the kitchen. So I'm going to quickly wipe off this area of the countertop using the Method Daily Granite Cleaner and then one of these European dishcloths from Grove Collaborative. I've talked about those before, but they're basically like a really thin sponge and it's a really good replacement for paper towels. So you may notice in today's video that I have kind of changed around everything on my kitchen countertops. If you saw my kitchen spring cleaning video, I did um, a deep clean of our countertops and sealed them because they are granite. And so I just moved everything around while I was at it. So I moved my diffuser over here to the end of the countertop because you can see this area when you walk in our front door and from the living room. So I really wanted it to look cute. So on the mini ladder, that is from Hobby Lobby, by the way, I think in last year's fall section. So keep an eye out for those because they're already putting fall stuff out at Hobby Lobby. But I'm adding this cute lemon hand towel I found at Hobby Lobby this year. My diffuser, of course, I think is from Walmart a few years back. It is on a wooden riser from Home Goods. The wreath around the base of the diffuser is from Target. And then I added a little yellow vintage pitcher to the side on a little riser. And I'm actually gonna use that to fill up my diffuser every day. And then I did add a little wooden lemon piece there just to add a little more pop of yellow in this corner. So now that this area is styled, we're going to work on filling up the diffuser. I will put the blend that I used here on the screen. Um, I find these all over Pinterest, basically, and so I just chose one that had a lemon in it, of course. This one has lemon, orange, and peppermint, and it's very fresh and citrusy for summertime. So now we're going to move on to the kitchen area as a whole. I'm going to do a wipe down of all the countertops and then we're going to put out a few lemon pieces here on the countertops and the stove area. And then we are going to focus on the tops of the cabinets, which I did change all of my decor up on the tops of the cabinets as well. So keep an eye out for that. But again, I'm just wiping down the counters here with that daily granite cleaner from Method. And then I removed my, um, I'm going to take down the hand towels and put up some lemon ones. I've had these a couple years already, but they do have lemons and some blue flowers on them. So they really tie in with my theme that I'm using here in the kitchen. I did find a few good pieces this year at Hobby Lobby too in their spring section with the lemon decor. Since I wanted to add in a little bit of blue, they had plenty of pieces with that theme. And one piece that I picked up was this new drying mat. I keep one of these out on the countertops every day, all day. We always have sippy cups, coffee cups, dishes, drying. And so I have one of those out, but I am considering getting one of those drying racks that goes like down in your sink, just to kind of keep the counters a little more decluttered. So now I'm wiping off the stove and putting my new tea kettle up there that I got for my birthday. 
Then I'm gonna add this cute little lemon tray. This was in the spring shop from Hobby Lobby last year. I didn't see them this year, so so glad to have found that last year. And I'm going to add this Bath & Body Works candle. It is sugared lemon zest, and I just love the way the soft yellow looks. The smell is perfect. We are going lemons all around this year. So you'll notice in the top of my cabinets, I'm switching out the sign here in the middle. I have a lemon welcome sign that I got, I think at Hobby Lobby last year. And then you'll also notice I've switched around. I still have all of my dishes up top, but I've turned around all of my Ray Dunn pieces. So the words are to the back. <laughs> so my mom actually said she saw someone else on YouTube do this. I'm not sure who but that way they're just neutral dishes and they don't have the words everywhere. So I thought that was a genius idea. You know, we all had our Ray Dunn phase and I still like, especially the seasonal stuff, but um, don't necessarily want to read words all day, every day. <laughs> so turn those around and then I'm adding a few of my lemon pieces up here. And then I'm just gonna do a quick fix on these greenery pieces. I just had those like propped up there to see if I liked it. And so I'm just fixing those up a little better. I love the way the tops of the cabinets turned out so much that I'm already looking forward to <laughs> styling them for both fall and Christmas. I just imagine some cute little miniature Christmas trees in those crocs and some signs, maybe some little light up things, or maybe put lights on the trees. You know, I have a um, very exciting place. I've been thinking about Christmas a lot lately. So. so here are the final looks of the kitchen area and all of the touches of lemons and blue that we added. Okay, now we're going to work on styling the kitchen table. So this is table sits like right outside of our kitchen. We don't have a separate dining room or eating area. Our um, kitchen, dining area, entryway, living room is all kind of one big like U-shaped space. So um, it's not a very big space. That's why the table's up against the wall, but we are going to work on just wiping down the table you know, kitchen tables are always messy and sticky and dusty anyways. So as the centerpiece for our table, I've been using this chicken wire shelf from Hobby Lobby for mm, at least about a year, I think. I really love it on our table. It's the perfect size and it's just so interesting to look at while we're eating. So to style this, I'm adding a yellow checked tea towel here on the left, this beautiful lemon mixing bowl, I think I got for my birthday last year, but I think it's from like TJ Maxx Home Goods. I added some lemon napkins on the right. 
Um, those are from Hobby Lobby. The napkin holder is from Amazon. The sweet tea sign is from Hobby Lobby. A Ray Dunn piece. We're just loading this up with so many lemons. These little lemon bowls I just added, I found those in the Target dollar spot just the other day. So, and we're adding this little blue lemon just to keep the blue theme going throughout this room. last space we are going to be styling today is my peg rail shelf and first we are going to switch out this wall hanging and changing it from our spring look to more of a summer look so this is the original wreath and sign that came in this and I added some pink and purple florals for spring so we're taking that whole wreath out and I had this wreath from Hobby Lobby it's a little smaller in size but I think it still works um, in the tobacco basket and then I'm taking these a little white and yellow it's like a floral stem that I had from Hobby Lobby and I am clipping those apart and just sticking them all around the wreath it's just a very very subtle hint of yellow and white but it's just the perfect touch to carry the lemon theme over into this corner so I just stick that back in the tobacco basket with some twist ties and we're going to hang that back on the wall. To the peg rail shelf, I'm going to add this hanging cutting board. I'm also going to add a new lemon apron that I found this year at Hobby Lobby. It has blue trim around the edges and the blue flowers in the print. It is so, so beautiful. I actually can't wait to wear that while I'm baking something someday. So that will be super fun. And then lastly, I'm going to add this little hanging little metal pail. That's from Hobby Lobby and just adding some fun greenery to this side. Okay, so now on to today's lemon dessert recipe. This recipe is called Lemon Lush, and I actually ripped this page out of a Southern Living magazine that I got this spring. So I knew this was gonna be perfect for today's video, and I really wanted to share it with you guys. So what you will need are some vanilla sandwich cookies, some whole milk, the recipe calls for whole milk, but I used 2% milk because I had it on hand and it worked perfectly some heavy whipping cream, two packages of instant lemon pudding mix, powdered sugar, cream cheese, butter, and some fresh lemons. Okay, so to get started with this recipe, you're going to put some of the vanilla sandwich cookies into a food processor, or you can just crush them up like in a gallon bag or something. You're going to want about four and a half cups of crushed cookies. 
So I'm just using my food processor to do this and make it easy for me. And we are going, this is what's going to make the crust of the dessert. I will have this dessert linked in the description box below. I was able to find it on the Southern Living website. So you guys be sure to check it out. It is so, so tasty and such a good like cold, creamy dessert for summertime. So to the crushed cookies, you're going to add a half a cup of melted butter. That is one stick if you're wondering. And you're just gonna stir that up until it kind of all you know, forms together and sticks together. Then you're going to spray a 13 by nine baking dish with um, nonstick spray. And you're going to spread this in the bottom and then stick it in the freezer for about 10 minutes or until it is set. So while the crust is setting in the freezer, you're going to start making the first layer. And this is a lemon cheesecake layer. It's so good. So you're gonna have two eight ounce packages of cream cheese that are softened. You're gonna add those to a bowl or to your KitchenAid mixer if you have one. To that, you're also going to add two teaspoons of lemon zest, three tablespoons of lemon juice, and one and a quarter cups of powdered sugar. And then you're going to beat this on a high speed for about three minutes. something you guys might not know about me but I love baking but I also just love making desserts in general um, it doesn't matter if there's a baked element or not <laughs> I just love making sweet treats for my family and I've been doing this for so so long um, I remember making my own birthday cake I think when I turned either 9 or 10 I've been making the pumpkin pies for my whole family's Thanksgiving since I was about 15 years old so this has just been always been something that I have loved and enjoyed so let me know in the comments below if you guys would like to see more dessert recipes in my videos okay so now we're going to make some homemade whipped cream this would be a great area to shortcut this recipe if you don't want to make the whipped cream. Um, but to make it, we're going to add three cups of heavy whipping cream into the mixer bowl and then the remaining one quarter cup of powdered sugar. And you're just going to beat that for about two minutes until it is stiff peaks in the bowl. And I will say, when I did this, like I will show you, mine looked pretty stiff whenever I was done whipping it, but whenever I topped the dessert with it, it was a little loose. So I think if I make this next time, honestly, I think I'm just gonna buy pre-made whipped cream because it's easier that way. <laughs> so then once you have the cream cheese mixture on the left, the whipped cream on the right, we're gonna take one cup of the whipped cream and add it to the cream cheese mixture. And that's just gonna make it more fluffy and you're gonna fold that together. And then you're going to take your pan out of the freezer and you're going to add the cream cheese layer on top of the crust and then put it back in the freezer to set for another 10 minutes or so.
Okay, the last element we need to make for this dessert is the pudding layer. So you're going to add two 3.4 ounce packages of instant lemon pudding mix to a bowl. And then you're going to add three cups of whole milk or I used 2% milk and it was fine. You're gonna pour the milk in and then just whisk it up until it starts to thicken and then um, spread that on top of the cream cheese mixture in the pan and then chill for about 15 minutes just in the fridge this time. You do have to go right now? So there's a little behind the scenes for you guys. I somehow decided to film this video a day when we were in full on potty training mode and I'm like trying to decorate the whole kitchen and make this dessert and every like three or four minutes I'm having to stop and take Grant to the potty. So that was interesting, but I got it all done and he's doing so great. Honestly, we've had, he had one, he's had like maybe one accident per day for the past couple of days, but, and it's usually when we're outside and he's like busy playing and not thinking about it. But anyways, he's doing so great with potty training. We're so proud of him. So once you spread the pudding mixture on top of the cream cheese, you let it set. Then you're gonna spread the remaining whipped cream all over the top of this dessert. And then you want to cover it and put it in the fridge for either up to at least four hours or up to 24 hours and then you can enjoy. I'm telling you guys, this is so easy, so delicious. I hope you guys try it and enjoy it with your families this summertime. All right guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you really enjoyed it and that it inspired you to do some decorating in your kitchen for the summer months. I love how everything turned out and I love the bright pops of yellow and blue. It just makes it feel like summertime is here and we're ready to have some fun. But if you guys enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and let me know what your favorite part of today's video was or what you guys are doing for some summer decorating. I would love to hear. Subscribe if you're new. Join me here at Kindly Katie. We do lots of decorating, cleaning, and mom life videos. I would love to have you guys subscribe to my channel. It's totally free and you just know whenever I post a new video. All right guys, I will see you very soon with another video. Bye.